Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 4. Okay, uh, the previous episode we got a new teammate and she is like her name is Nikki. Yeah, her name is Nikki and she is a big fan of Lillian and obviously because of that reason she, like they were unable to trick her. So like she obviously like there is a big difference between uh, recording sound and like someone who is really singing in like live. So obviously they were unable to trick her uh, but also because of that reason because of the reason that she is such a big fan. She also wants all of the other people to like uh, listen to the songs of Lillian's. She wants to like uh, like make like the songs that she loved so much she wants each and every one like all people to like listen to it and hear it which is unfortunately not possible if she like is like if she uh, like um, if she like stays with Sukasa's team because they are against uh, this whole like science thing so because of that reason she got like recruited into Senku's team and I'm not sure if there are like uh, like any other like uh, diehard fans of Lillian in the in like uh, amongst the people who are uh, petrified. Uh, no, not petrified. Uh, sorry, uh, amongst the people who are like in Sukasa's like army. If there is, they will also be unable to trick those people as well because obviously like a diehard fan is something else. Like they will like catch you so quickly if you try to trick them. Just like Nikki did. So, anyways, uh, like their plan is still like uh, continuing, and they got a new team member. Uh, and yeah, it's all good. So let's see, uh, like what Senku does after after this, because obviously there are a lot more people in like Sukasa's team who are quite um dangerous, especially that guy who can hear uh, extremely well. And a few others. Obviously, Hyoga is there as well, and who knows, who knows who like who else is there. So, anyways, guys, and without further ado, let's get started with um, Doctor Stone season two, episode number four. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, saying to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown: three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yeah, but her her voice is still here. Yeah, it's kind of reviving. Yeah, everyone will like everyone will hear Lillian's voice. Yeah. Like you can immortalize her in that way. Hmm. Yeah, so just join our team. <laughs> yep. Like join our team. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and that was quite like, like effortless. Ally acquired Nikki. Um, what is happening? <laughs> okay. Okay. Fifty-five percent. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you need more. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's like she can also like do that. <laughs> hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah, this was what I was saying, like, the people. Hmm. 
capable individuals, yeah. So called strongest high school primate. Okay, one is yoga. Yeah, the other one is that bow guy, isn't it? All right. Yeah, like his hearing power. Ukyo. Okay, I left. I've tried to keep that in mind. Ukyo. Yeah, the like uh, obviously like Nikki's uh, main uh, what can I say motivation is like uh, Lillian's songs. So like by like uh, staying in Sukasa's army, that will be kind of not possible because like who knows like uh, what like what Sukasa thinks about like Lillian's music. <laughs> like if somehow like uh, obviously like if uh, he like she remains in Sukasa's army. Uh, science will kind of be lost like uh, Senku is kind of the only person here who has this like so much passion for science Senku and Chrome so like for science to okay what the hell happened I don't know what the hell happened it kind of the video got stuck oh my god is this going to... I might have to check that out. Like, thankfully, it's still not... Like, the show not, has not started, so, like... Oh, my God. The video is getting... Like, it's corrupted, I think. Oh, my God. Like, this is, like, the main problem of, like, full-timer reactions. Like, you cannot pause, you can't do anything. <sighs> Yeah. Thankfully, it does not happen like that. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, obviously. Because of his hairy. Wait, what? Um, sonar operator of a submarine. Oh, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, like this guy is formidable. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god. <sighs> the video is really like... Um... <laughs> All right. Well, obviously. That's Chrome. <laughs> Look at Magma's face. What the hell? <laughs> um, is that really what you should do? Like he knows, yeah, like where you are. And his hearing is so good. Oh, Cam decoy. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, is he trying not trying to kill him? Kill them? Like Yeah. Okay, so but what's he doing? Oh white flag, okay. Okay, one thing they can do, like, oh, 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 that was fast. One thing they can do, like, they don't know that they are, like, connected to Senku. Like, Chrome and all of them. Um, there, the, there he is. Okay, don't shout, Magma. Wait. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, like, don't fall for it. <laughs> like, he'll butter you up and then, like, take all the intel. <laughs> hmm. Okay, he'll meet Sukasa for the first time. Uh, there he is. The king! Yep. <laughs> Look at this face. And here we go. Uh, I, I think you should not have said that because Sukasa does not like scientists. Yeah. Damn. Okay, Kohaku. Stop. Oh, okay. He's using the telephone. Okay. Okay, Senku has some kind of plan. Oh! You are starting the war? Wow, that, that, everything's happening so fast. <laughs> oh my god, Omrah <laughs> with her ramen. Okay, back up, guys. We need to do some infiltration. Mm. Yeah, they'll come from them there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. What's with the face? Oh boy. Like, you need some kind of cart or something that they used before. Yeah, he, he's making... Uh, that's, a, that's a wheel, isn't it? Yeah, he's making a wheel. 
And there we go. <laughs> okay. Damn, look at this, those things. So many things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Kasuki will be like extremely happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Beehives. Okay, that's a weird thing to use to make a car. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay, what are they use, going to use that beehive for? When cooked honey congealed beeswax. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like where is it going to be used for? Wait. I, I, yeah, like I was thinking, like it is going to. Oh. Oh, okay. So they're going to make like a cast kind of thing. All right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All the water, okay. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is some new things that like we're learning. <laughs> Well, he's a scientist. But he said that I'm a scientist. Oh no. If he keeps quiet, um, yeah, like you should hurry. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you should hurry. Yeah. Yeah, he just like went up and said that I'm a scientist. <laughs> mm. Um, 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 Skasa is not like not impressed. That's the not impressed face. 
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, sexy. Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Okay, uh I hope Huh? Okay. Well, like, oh boy, the video is uh, getting messed up again. <laughs> like that's the last person you uh... well Sukasa you're wrong in one thing like scientists do not like stop like they always like try to move past like a, a, like one experiment then another then another and then another like they would like advancing like flame test will not be able to like satisfy him um, I'm guessing Taiju and Yusuriha and Daniki will help him some. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Wait, is this some kind of test he's doing? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, exactly. They'll find it out. It's, it's, oh, uh, he is. Yeah, he is. Okay, so, yeah. What, like, why did he lie? He has some other kind of uh, an objective, I'm guessing. Is that what he's trying to do? Like, who knows? Oh boy, there you go. <laughs> the gears and everything for uh, automobile. Oh boy, this uh, video is really... Like, guys, I'm sorry for this, like, like, obviously because I started reacting, I can't stop it now. Oh, great. Okay, that's kind of the framework that they got of the steam engine. Haha. <laughs> Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> and it's successful. <laughs> yeah, the <that>, like <laughs> Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at Kasuki. Damn. Wow. The Casa Empire. Yep, let's go. All right, that was good. Okay, so um, first of all, 
like I'm apologizing for one thing the video for like that I reacted to was a little bit corrupted I'm guessing so in a few like portions it kind of got stuck but like uh, like looking at it the <coughs> like it like the video was still ongoing but it got stuck in a few moments so I'm I'm hoping that like uh, the syncing of the timer and the subtitles will not be at any problem because the video is still ongoing but it like got stuck in a few portions so i'm sorry for that like obviously because like i'm doing this as a timer reaction i cannot like just pause it and then say like okay i like like i'll like react it to it again like i can't do that so like, that's why like i had to go on like if if it was really corrupted and extremely bad and i like not uh, like possible to react to it then i would have like stopped it and reacted to it again but anyways like i apologize for that um all right so this episode uh, this was uh the automobile episode the industrial revolution and like <laughs> you cannot call it an industrial revolution because senku is kind of like skipping some steps like here and there like he's kind of jumping from right that's the end like he's kind of jumping from like one invention to another invention and like he like uh like as like we can see like one like he's like making uh some like this like electricity and stuff then suddenly he's making space food and then he's again making like uh like telecommunication devices and then like like automobiles like he's kind of like jumping you know, here then here and there here and there so you cannot call it an proper industrial revolution but obviously this is senku here like senku being here is kind of like the like you like you'll go through all of the ages like stone age bronze age iron age all of these like ages and like like you like zoom past all of that into like the modern world like senku being here is like the thing that we only need obviously like uh, one thing i was thinking uh like just, just suppose like if senku was not here uh like i'm guessing chrome would be the one who would uh like take science up like like i'm just saying that like imagine that uh, senku was not in like was not like uh not unpetrified like senku remains petrified and like um chrome would be the one to like hold the science like the baton of the science and he would probably like seeing him others would also kind of get inspired and he would like uh, pass on his research to the future generations and like it would obviously take a lot more time for like science to advance because uh, there are like a few people <coughs> who are un uh, uh, like who are like still alive in this like age uh, and obviously like uh, chrome would obviously chrome and his descendants would find uh, the way to unpetrify uh, the whole thing with the nitric acid and everything someday but obviously it would take a lot of time so i was thinking like uh, senku being here is like the you know those uh, like the a ticket to like jump past one age to another so like yeah like in, in just like look at it like in such 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 few days like uh, i'm not sure i think uh, one or two years like he did so many things just like look at it so yeah like this is something quite unrelated to this episode but i was just thinking anyways so okay this episode mm, this was <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this episode was uh, um, chrome getting captured <laughs> and like not getting captured but chrome kind of like buying time for mag magma to get away and kind of like uh not sacrificing but kind of like being the decoy himself being the bait himself to let magma run away and <clears throat> like um one thing i was really surprised was sukasa like mm, like helping him like i know that sukasa himself is the guy who is like who just wants to destroy uh like people who are like the, the like the elders like the people who are not like worthy in his eyes like he does not want to keep like make them un like un unpetrify them and he's like only unpetrifying people who he deems worthy and 
who are of the younger generations so i know that is the case but obviously he like kind of tried to kill senku before this so i was under the impression that even though chrome was not one of the older generations uh, sukasa would still try to like kill him because he himself like said that i am a scientist so i was kind of under that impression so i was quite a bit of like a bit surprised when he like saved him even though he knew that he is a scientist like that was really uh, surprising um uh maybe i'm guessing like he did like did not uh, kill chrome off because <clears throat> like chrome is a guy obviously he is a scientist but he is not as threatening as senku is in this like stone age so uh, like he i think he killed like tried to kill um senku because of that reason so uh, like i'm guessing like his like um the way he's thinking about this is like even if i kill chrome like uh like it won't matter like senku would still be there so obviously like he himself is like not a mindless killing machine so he decided to spare crow because his main target is senku i'm guessing that is the reason he did this and obviously like uh crow like, uh, is now in their like in their like place in their like <coughs> base so i'm guessing they will like now capture like chrome and like keep him like somewhere like uh not letting i won't let him go back to the village so because of that i also think he kind of like spared him because obviously chrome will be under like uh high supervision and she won't be able to do anything uh so yeah i think that was the reason why Uh, because one thing uh, we should not forget is like sukasa is not uh, like a, a typical villain he is more of a villain with a goal like you know those villains in like animes and any kind of like shows we see who just wants to be the king of the world or the like most powerful person and like destroy the whole universe or something uh, just for the sake of it like sukasa is not that guy so obviously his like the bad deed that he did was because of a reason the reason being that he does not want to like uh, uh bring back people uh, to life who are the older generation and <clears throat> uh, would be the reason for as he said in this episode that they would be like the reason for all of the pollution and all of the things that we saw uh like in in our like in the modern world but i'm like in my opinion that is kind of wrong because like like you not like like i kind of get it what he's trying to say like uh, in his like point of view uh, the adults uh, the adults are kind of extremely like you know uh, two faced and kind of like does things for their own like benefit uh, does not look at anything else but that's just a small portion so like there like there are so many like good people uh, out in the world like uh like i really don't understand why he does not look at the world like this like i know he had a bad um past and he hates the uh, adult and uh, like the people who kind of like made him like this uh like made him suffer so but that is not the reason to like like not like to kill them off like anyways like like i really do not does not un, like do not understand like why he does not look at it that way but anyways <clears throat> like like you know like uh, you saw those guys who are like with uh, who were with sukasa with like those like bald heads and like quite muscular like uh, i doubt each and every one of them are like like extremely good people i doubt that i'm sure like uh, amongst the so many people he has revived there must be one or two people who after growing up would be the same as those guys that he hated so like you cannot stop that like like uh like people like change and they change because of the circumstances and like anything they can change so like you cannot stop it like that like that's impossible so i don't know like sukasa is a pretty smart guy but uh like his like the point of view that he's looking at the world with i think it's quite flawed but anyways
and obviously Senku is a scientist he does not care about that he just wants like science to progress and <clears throat> yeah uh, okay so that was the whole thing with Tsukasa now uh, like why did um, Ukyo yeah Ukyo why did Ukyo help Chrome now like Chrome thinks that he is trying to like start a revolution all right now <laughs> Okay, I can kind of see him doing that because he's kind of like uh, like looking at him. He looks like kind of like you know those crafty guys, cunning guys, kind of like Gen in a sense. But obviously, Gen is a lot more like um, uh, down to earth, I think, because like obviously, even though Gen is kind of like you know tries to trick others and everything, like his like core is like good. Like he has a good heart. Obviously, like from like seeing him uh, for the like from in season one and like watching him for so many episodes, like I can say that that even though he uh, tries to like like act like yeah I'm the bad guy I'm the like uh, person who uh, tricks others betrays others even though he tries to like act like that like deep down inside he is a really good guy but I think in that way uh, like again is kind of like the superior here but Ukyo kind of also like showed us uh, stuff like a little bit of that personality you know those kind of like the trickster kind of personality it looks uh, like looking at him he kind of uh, it feels as if he's uh, like that so I'm not sure what his actual plan is but if it is really like making a revolution then I don't know like um okay like uh, like we can take any help like that will also he kind of help senku uh, in a way if he tries to <clears throat> like start a revolution from the inside so yeah like let's see what he actually like his plan is and <clears throat> and um okay so that and obviously like sukasa is uh, like there's like yoga with him like with sukasa and i think there's another guy uh, which who we saw in the opening but obviously we did not see him in the episode itself most probably we'll be introduced to him later on uh, in the future episodes <clears throat> there's that guy who is also i think quite important and a bunch of other like people like who we don't even know the names of so i think um if we, like if, if ukyo really is like trying to like start a revolution uh, Sukasa's uh, like uh, team strength is kind of like reducing day by day like in the previous episode uh, Nikki kind of deflected to like uh, the science uh, team and if uh, and also if like Ukyo is also kind of like trying to make a revolution like uh, then like his like he also won't help Sukasa in like uh, <clears throat> in his war and also Homura got captured so uh, you won't get like Tsukasa won't get any help from Homura as well so I don't know like <laughs> it's kind of like getting one-sided isn't it but obviously Tsukasa is the strongest primate like he will like I don't know what he's capable of like we kind of saw in season one but still like that is like a fraction of his power <laughs> like he is not at his full strength that's not his final form so <laughs> yeah anyways um <clears throat> And we get to see like <clears throat> Senku making an automobile and obviously like <clears throat> that will be a huge help like they're like doing like uh, more things regarding like communications and stuff like that you know like and the telephone and then like this is also kind of like related to communication like uh, automobiles like you go from one place to another that and um, now like Obviously, it's kind of like a rough thing that they did and like from the opening we can kind of see a tank kind of a tank which I'm guessing like Senku will make gradually and <clears throat> yeah, I don't like see how Sukasa is going to win this war like I really don't see like how like like Senku has all of these kind of things like these uh, wonderful like science inventions and stuff uh, whereas like what the hell will Sukasa fight with stones and sticks? I don't know like um what his actual plan is but let's just see and uh, and also like his like the army the people that he like he's going to use a lot of them are kind of deflecting to the science team and uh, like I don't know like what this is going to happen like 
like Senku is kind of overpowered in like in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways. And also there are like people within the like uh, Sukasa army like Taiju and Yuzuriya like they're going to like uh, start think up from the middle. So yeah. Uh, like I don't know I'm quite concerned for Sukasa. <laughs> Which I obviously should not be, because um, yeah, Sukas is kind of the antagonist of this show. But anyways, like Sukas, like uh, looking at it, Sukasa is like I don't know if I should say that this, but Sukasa is um, not a complete bad guy. Like he's doing all of these things because of like his ideals, like uh, the way he looks at the world. So, I don't know, anyways, but yeah, he kind of killed a few people before this, so like, that is also another thing that you should keep in mind. <laughs> I don't know, he, like, Sukasa is in a really, like, complicated spot, like, it cannot, like, like, just say that, yeah, he's a bad guy or he's a good guy, like, he's kind of in the gray spot, so, let's just see. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, that was it. Um, that was this episode, and I was really like uh, fascinated by uh, the way that they like explained uh, the automobile, that how the uh, gear works, the piston or whatever that they used works. Like uh, you know the steam thing that like pushes, and the kind of like a thing that was like going like this, which uh, in turn kind of like pulled the uh, wheel and rotated it. And that was really interesting to see. So I'm guessing all of the like steam, uh, like you know, steam engines, steam locomotives, steam uh, like run trains that we had <coughs> like in the previous generations. Uh, <coughs> I'm guessing that is like the <coughs> main principle that <coughs> was used to make them like uh, move. So oh, god damn it. Uh, so yeah, like that was really interesting to see. So in this episode, like the only invention, kind of the invention that they did was uh the uh the automobile or the steam engine that they made so and the wheel also also kind of so yeah and uh, yeah guys that was it and uh, that was this episode so that was a good episode and we are finally like marching towards uh, Tsukasa's army uh, Sukasa's base so let's see what actually happens in the like upcoming episodes so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so this was um dr stone season 2 episode number 4 if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say uh, about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video of dr stone season 2 uh, next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day